Wyoming voters head to the polls tomorrow to decide crowded primary races in the Cowboy State for Governor, U.S. Senate, and U.S. House. Now that means just nine hours from now, the polls open in Wyoming for the state's 2018 primary election. Now the newest poll shows that with just hours to go, as many as 20% of the eligible voters are still undecided. Topping the ballot in Wyoming, the crowded governor's race, where six candidates are vying for the GOP nomination to replace Governor Matt Mead. Mead is unable to run again due to term limits. In a new poll released just last Wednesday, the Republican governor's race appears to be a virtual dead heat. Multi-millionaire Foster Freeze, who has spent nearly two and a half million dollars of his own money so far, leads current Wyoming treasurer Mark Gordon 21 percent to 20 percent. Harriet Hageman runs a close third with 16.2 percent. Businessman Sam Galliotis is running a distant fourth with 9.5 percent. And the other two candidates, Taylor Haynes and Bill Dolan, bring up the rear. Perhaps though most notable in this uh, Trafalgar poll is that 19.9 percent of those polled say they're still undecided. Six percent say they've already voted. This poll released last week surveyed 1,775 Wyoming voters using a mix of cell phones and landline calls along with emailed surveys. Now the survey has a margin of error of 2.35 percent which means the race is in a virtual dead heat. The other top races in Tuesday's, Tuesday's primary, U.S. Senate and U.S. House, also feature crowded races. Incumbent U.S. Senator John Barrasso faces five other GOP candidates. Businessman Dave Dodson has invested more than $1 million of his own money in his campaign. The winner will face Democrat Gary Trotter in November. And in Wyoming's U.S. House race, it's incumbent Congressman Liz Cheney, who faces two challengers in her first bid for re-election. And two Democrats, Greg Hunter and Travis Helm, are facing off in Wyoming's Democratic House uh, race.